Cancer weekly messages. Messages from the mermaids. What is something that maybe you need to let go or wait for the ships to come in? That watery energy. Mermaids are like the angels of the sea. So what messages do they have for you? These messages are going to be for July 22nd through the 29th. Don't forget to check back for weekly readings. And let's get into it. I will never solicit you for readings. This is my one only account. All right, so what is something of a main subject or a main issue or something of a main subject that the uh, mermaids are bringing through? So we've got water flight. This is heaviness being lifted, burdens that are being casted away, and feeling weightlessness as you release or let go. So yeah, there's like a heavy maybe energy around you or a heaviness in your heart, or perhaps there's like regrets, or there's maybe some bitterness from a past situation or person or people that you're being called to let go. You're being called to free yourself because holding on to regret and should ofs and what ifs and roads not taken and perhaps maybe you, you know you cut somebody out of your life and you know you're wondering was that the right thing to do every action that you've made so far was the right action your heart called you to do that you were led to do that for a reason but you are holding on to some things that you should have let go by now so that's what's coming up there's some old issues here that really need you need to let them sink is what i'm hearing from spirit and from the mermaids you need to let them sink they're holding you back they're holding you you know down i feel like it's old you know thoughts also and old bad patterns that are tied to these people or situations from the past or or whatever it is you feel you know guilty about you don't have to feel guilty you don't have to feel the this this heaviness anymore because you have done the right thing. Things things maybe um, not looking so, or maybe there was a lot of chaos leading up to this now, but I feel like the chaos was necessary because it helped. it's helping or it helped free you, okay, from um, maybe people that were, you know, just energy vampires or, or just feeding off of you. All right, and you also have to be aware of people that want to do that to you. Um, okay, so what else do you need to know? We're here. We have dream. So your dreams might be kicking up lately. Pay attention to your dreams. Perhaps get a dream diary. There's messages in your dreams, definitely. Um, so if you're a dreamer or you dream a lot or maybe you have psychic dreams, I feel like pay attention to your dreams. They mean something. There's messages there. Your spirit guides may be trying to communicate there. So we also have to follow our dreams. So I feel like this is also about you following your dream of doing what you really want to do, what's in your heart. It could be like a talent that you have and you're going to grow that maybe into a side business. Whatever it is. Um, maybe you've always wanted to act or maybe you've always wanted to, um, you know, do art and, you know, try to put your art out there. Whatever it is, I feel like you're meant to pursue that because it's going to bring you a lot of happiness um, and, and help you release some of this past, like, sadness or depression or past regrets. All right. What else do you need to know or hear? Oh, so we've got pay attention. So, yeah, I also feel like, like I said, pay attention to your dreams, but pay attention. Notice... Um, repeating signs, um, like repeating numbers, that sort of thing. I feel like notice those synchronicities are trying to guide you. Um, and they're being sent to you so you could know. In other words, you could have those aha moments. Um, pay attention to those aha moments. I feel like your intuition is waking up like never before. I feel like you're embracing this more. Um, you know, um, heaven is definitely hearing your, your, your prayers and, you, you know, hears your worries and, um, they are definitely sending you like these good thoughts and, you know, kind of putting these like thoughts in your head that have like a higher guidance. Yes, that's all real. Um, I also feel like, you know, you may be worried about your past choices, but no, something, something about your past choices, like they led you to where you are today. You're much stronger. You're much more secure than you ever were. Um, your belief system, I feel like is changing a bit. A lot of things are, are changing. Um, and this is definitely about you, um, embracing that intuition. All right. Listen to it because it's not wrong. Listen to it. Listen to your gut about every single situation, every single person. It is correct. 100%. All right. What is one last message? Wow. Okay. We've got letting go. So this did come up prior to the few cards that we've done in the, uh, in the reading. So I feel like, yeah, you can try to forgive wherever you can forgive yourself for mistakes, forgive yourself for uh, people that, you know, maybe 
you let in your life that were not good for you or misled you or treated you badly or maybe were narcissistic, it was okay to let those people go. Um, but you also have to just, like, again, I said, the feelings of guilt, feelings of, um, you know, sadness, um, feeling like you're, 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 uh, responsible. Letting go can be challenging, but it comes, a, a, a comes, what comes with it is like a, a deeper, um, connection to your own soul because you're strong enough to do it. Love and light. Check back for next week's reading.